Hi guys, how are you doing? My name is Shola Lavi and I'm a guitarist. So today I'll be teaching you guys how to play the song Reckless Love by Corey Hasbury. So basically the song is on E, E major and we, you can actually play this on the electric guitar and on the acoustic guitar. So I'll, I'll, I'm going to be showing you guys the chords. It's, a, it's an open chord and trust me it's a simple chord so I'm just going, let's just dive into it. So the progression started from uh, a minor which is a C sharp minor, minor seventh with a different shape then back to the B then A okay so I'm going to be showing you guys the shape so for the first chord of the progression which is the 6 that is um, the C sharp minor 7 you put your this is the uh, ring finger you place your ring finger on your fret 4 on string 5 I'll take that slowly fret 4 you start counting from here this is fret 1 fret 2 fret 3 fret 4 but string 5 which is this string number 5 remember you start counting uh, start naming the number of strings from the bottom go all the way from bottom up so string 5 is going to be 1 2 3 4 and 5 so you place your ring finger on that and then the next note we are picking is on fret number two but string number four so count from that this is one fret number one fret number two then count the string from the bottom up one two three four then the last thing is our pinky or you some some call it the little finger or pinky like this this is going to be on still um it's going to be on fret number four but on uh, string number three that's going to give us the uh the seventh of the minor chord don't worry as time goes by we'll dive more into the chord nomenclature so you get to understand how we name chords and all of that so yeah so then you really don't you really don't need this um uh, string number six because uh the note you have on it is the root note which is the e itself, which is major but the first progression is starting from six that is do re mi fa sol la that's the six one two three four five six right yeah so basically we're left with string five string four string three then the other string one and two will be left open so at the end of the day the notes we have if i have to say it in tonic so far so you understand better if that's how you learn uh we have la do sol la. so we have la do sol then another song on the same pitch different colors for the same pitch then play together you have that's the chord one then the second chord is very simple uh, you place your index finger on your fretboard number two string five then your ring finger on fret number four string four then little finger on fret number four string three you have something like this still keep the one and two open as well then you play together you have this that gives you your five remember i said that the progression is uh six five then four then for four there's there's a unique uh shape i'm playing which is you leave the the string number five open then you place your index finger on fret two string number four then you put your ring finger on fret number four string three and that's all the rest you leave them open and you have that's your chord for the fourth progression so now we're left with the progression of six um six five then four let me please to get all together for you guys so you can just picture the whole music together we have something like six five four then 
back to the one you know the e chord right the uh the e shape the yeah which is your root okay let me just give that to you very quick you leave the string is open then you have your uh your middle finger on the string five fretboard two then you have your uh middle finger on your string four fret number two then you have your index finger on um string number three fret number one just like this that's how you play so let me put everything together for you guys so you yeah you have the awful song together six five Have fun with that. Thank you. See you next time.